Preparations for ESPN's college football game day well underway behind me. The last time game day was here, they featured a brand new local restaurant, Cornbread Barbecue. I'm not saying game day put cornbread on the map, but it certainly didn't hurt. It was amazing. Tara Hanish has worked at Cornbread Barbecue since the doors opened. She was here when game day came calling in 2019. She says they are still pulling the same quality food from the smoker they always have and describes the game day experience as electric, voltage that started cranking out the minute they got the call to appear on national TV. I heard about it, obviously, when I came to work the next day, and I was very excited. Hanna says it was quite the experience, and set up outside Jack Trice brings back memories. She says the excitement lingered long after game day packed up and headed to its next destination. The business that turnaround that we got after that was amazing. Just to put our name on the map was pretty, pretty cool, you know? being a new restaurant in town. Tara tells us they have not gotten the call for an encore appearance on game day this year. But the Cornbread family remains grateful to game day for the exposure it gave to a brand new business two years ago. In Ames, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. I'm hungry. Yeah, that looked really good. <laughs> the Iowa State Athletic Department says a glitch froze its online sales at public passes Wednesday. Those passes are now completely sold out. But don't worry, parking is available on campus. SciRide buses will take you to and from the stadium. And if you can't get ABC on Mediacom cable, you can use your Mediacom credentials to stream the game on ESPN3, or you know what? You can go out and buy an antenna, hook it up to your TV, and watch it over the air.